Hello friends, welcome back to technical update. In this project, we will build a burglar alarm system using the walkway simulator and the hardware component we are using here are Raspberry Pi Pico, a buzzer, two PIR motion sensors that is HC SR501 and LED. Now start with connection of PIR1 sensor to Raspberry Pi Pico which is connected to pin 28 of Raspberry Pi Pico. The connection is given. Now let's do the connection of LED which is connected with a 330 ohm resistor to pin 15 of Raspberry Pi Pico. You can also change the color of wire that is the color of wire can be changed in diagram.json file and you can also see the different hardware connections in that particular file as well. Now do the connection of the buzzer to Raspberry Pi Pico which is connected to pin 14 of Raspberry Pi Pico as you can see. This particular project will work fine for one room but if you want to extend the project to cover more area you can also connect one more PIR sensor. Here we have connected one more PIR sensor that is PIR2 in a similar way. Second PIR sensor that is PIR2 is connected to pin 22 of Raspberry Pi Pico. And you can also change the color of the connections in the diagram.json file. Friends, if you have not subscribed to our channel, please do like, share, subscribe and comment. Now let's start with the MicroPython code with the understanding of the different hardware connection. The first PIR sensor data pin is connected to pin 28 and the second PIR sensor data pin is connected to pin 22 of Raspberry Pi Pico. LED is connected with a 330 ohm resistor to pin 15 and buzzer is connected to pin 14 of Raspberry Pi Pico. Important thing is PIR sensor HCSR501 is a 5 volt device. So if you are if you are wiring it to 3.3 volt then Pico it won't work in hardware but uh, here in simulation I have connected to 3.3 volt and it is working so that I have used. So for the simulation purpose. Now programming the alarm system let us start by creating a new python program and then writing the particular line of code. Now let's import the machine library to configure the Pico GPIO pin. Then import the uTime library to set the delays in the program. Now uh, for the PIR1 sensor, set up the pin 28 to PIR sensor using the line sensor underscore PIR is equal to machine dot pin bracket 28 dash. The line of instruction of burglar alarm system program act as an interrupt so to handle interrupt use a callback function to handle the interrupt by defining a PIR handler function that is def PIR underscore handler in bracket pin. Make sure to have the correct indention writing the program. The lines u time dot sleep underscore ms in bracket hundred and if pin dot value bracket open bracket close are used to prevent alarm from being triggered by any jitter in the signal from the PIR sensor. Now to set up the interrupt itself use the line sensor underscore PIR dot IRQ bracket open trigger is equal to machine and the rest of the line. To make the LED glow we need to add a line of loop that is for i in range bracket 50 which will run 50 times and i represent increment which will auto increment till it reaches to 50. Then LED dot toggle and u time dot sleep underscore millisecond hundred. These two line 
will let you toggle the LED between high and low with a 100 millisecond delay. So now we can do the LED flashing. Uh, in similar way, we can also toggle the buzzer uh, by adding line of code that is buzzer dot toggle with 100 millisecond delay. The second PIR sensor which is also connected here is also uh, coded in a similar way like setting up the pin and, uh, and uh, then uh, creating a new interrupt. Uh, we can have uh, multiple interrupt uh, with a single handler. So the interrupt function will also be modified uh, for considering the second uh, PIR sensor. As you can see the simulation, uh, we can simulate the PIR sensor and we can get the printed message in serial monitor and indication of LED and buzzer. In physical way, PIR sensor will be uh, activated by someone when it, com when it comes in its range. You can make this project with real components and hardware. The code and link of the walkway simulation for this particular project is given in description link. I hope you learned through this particular project. Stay tuned for more such upcoming videos. Please do like, share and subscribe. Also write new ideas in the comment. Best of luck and thank you for watching.